If you need to make room in your breaker panel for new circuits, using a tandem breaker might be a great option. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to replace two individual breakers with a tandem breaker so you can add new circuits to your breaker panel. But before I show you how this is done, I need to explain what a tandem breaker is and how we can determine whether the solution might work for you. A tandem breaker is a single slot breaker that actually has space for two circuits. And what this does is it allows you to free up a slot in your panel to add another breaker. So now that you know what a tandem breaker is, we need to think about will this work as a solution for your situation. There are two things that we need to look at. First is whether your panel can accept tandem breakers and in which slots. Some panels don't accept tandem breakers at all, some accept them only in certain slots, and some accept them in all slots. Do the research with the manufacturer of your breaker panel to determine whether your breaker panel will accept tandem breakers. The second is whether you have two same amperage breakers side by side in your breaker panel that are not GFCI or AFCI. If you don't have this, this could cause a problem because it's going to force you to move other breakers around to get two same amperage breakers beside each other. And this may not be possible or desirable. So if your panel can accept tandem breakers and you have two same amperage breakers beside each other, then this solution could be a good one for you. Now, one thing before I show you the work I did at the panel, you'll notice that I did not turn off the power to the whole panel. I just turned off the power for the breakers I'm working with. Now, that's because I'm comfortable working in a panel this way. If you're not, then turn off the breaker that controls the whole panel so you have no power going to the panel at all before you start this. Okay, let's go to the panel. So in this panel, it looks like there's a lot of room, but in fact, we're going to need uh, some double pole breakers, 240 volt breakers, so that the Hot tub can be hooked up, um, some special garage equipment, and a uh, NEMA 1450 outlet for a heater or when friends come to charge their EV. So to make space in this panel, we're going to replace these two 15 amp breakers with a tandem 15 amp breaker. What a tandem 15 amp breaker has is it has two 15 amp breakers in one slot. That means I can put another breaker in this slot. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off each of those breakers and I can remove the wire from each of the breakers. Now remember, everything else is live. So when you pull the wire out, make sure you pull it away from where, every, where everything else is. Okay. So, now to get the breaker out on this type of a panel, you push it from the center towards the outside, and it comes out. We'll do the other one. Okay, there we go. Now I have my tandem 15, and you'll notice there's this little notch that goes under the plastic there, and then this slot pushes on to there. Now you do have to check whether your panel supports tandem breakers. This panel, which is a Schneider panel, uh, does support them in every single uh, position. So you get that lined up and then you press it in. Sometimes it's a little stiff. Now in this case I'm going to put another double 15 there as well. Always make sure when you put them on that they're in the off position. The reason I have to put another double 15 and I can't put anything else there is because you notice that I have a red wire and I have a black wire. This is a multi-wire branch circuit and a multi-wire branch circuit requires the two branches because they have a common neutral to be on different phases. This is one phase and this is the other phase and every other breaker is on a different phase in almost every panel. As you can see that by the phase coming from one side or the other side. So I'm gonna to have to put this red wire into the top breaker and the black one down into the bottom breaker. Nice and tight. 
tight and then this black wire has to go to the other tandem breaker. Okay, so now again, we only turn on those circuits that we are using. So that'll be the top one on this one and the top one on this one. And now we can test to see if the lights on those circuits are working. And indeed they are. So that's how you can add extra space for extra breakers in your panel using these tandem breakers. Now you heard me reference it when I was replacing the breakers, but I want to just come back to explain the difference between a multi-wire branch circuit and two individual circuits. If you have a 14-3 or 12-3 wire coming into your panel and the red wire is connected to one breaker, a black wire is connected to another breaker, and the common neutral is connected to the neutral bar, you have a multi-wire branch circuit. In this case, you must connect the red wire to a breaker on one phase and the black wire to a breaker on another phase. This is why you saw that I had to add a second tandem breaker of the same amperage. If you had two individual circuits coming in where each black wire is connected to a breaker and each white wire is connected to the neutral bar, then you could put both of those circuits on one single tandem breaker because they're not a, not a multi-wire branch circuit. In this case, you can add a breaker of a different amperage if you wanted to in that empty slot. As with all electrical work in your home, if you're not comfortable doing this, then please hire a qualified electrician to do it. Working in a breaker panel is an advanced level skill, and it's not something for everybody. You must have mastered basic and intermediate level skills and projects in order to have the confidence and skill to be able to take this on. So if that's not you, then go and hire a qualified electrician. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel so you get notified when I publish new videos about DIY projects, tools, and skills. Here are some other videos I think you'll also find interesting. Thanks for watching.